oh my God, that was so hard to listen to. You could hear Jeff's emotions. He even admitted that he started crying on the airplane on Friday, flying back from his New York trip to LA. So this has all been going on since Friday. Um, we just heard about it yesterday because that's when the Patreons dropped. So this sounds very much like the whole Heather Megan feud where things happened and then Heather went to Patreon and dropped and that's when everything got out. Um, but anyways, um, it sounds like this started two weeks ago, six weeks into the show. The Sirius XM execs weren't getting out of Brandy and Julie's after show what they wanted, but it sounds like there was a very good meeting on their part, um, but it didn't go well. And he says that Brandy and Julie were atrocious and very disrespectful during the meeting, so much so that Jim Thompson uh, hung up on the Zoom call. So that's huge because Jeff even says he's very calm, cool, collected. He also gave a lot of respect to Alyssa, saying that she's worked her ass off on this channel. Um, Basically, and I could hear this from the beginning of the show. When this show first started, June 16th, I think, I listened almost every single day, okay? But I could tell Brandy and Julie did not hide the fact that they didn't like when there was no guest. They were like, oh, I guess we're going to be taking calls all day. Now we know that's what Sirius XM wanted. The executives wanted. They wanted less guests. They wanted more phone calls because Jeff Lewis Live can't get to his end of phone calls. They wanted it to be a landing space, Jeff says. Uh, Brandy and Julie didn't want this at all. They eventually, for like two weeks, Jeff tried to handle this with them. Hey, let's ease into this. Let's do this way. Let's not do everything serious once, but we got to follow some of their rules. And Brandy basically said at one point, look, I will never do more than one show a week without any guests on. And Jeff said, well, then look, we've got to get you out of your contract because that's not what they want and you're not willing to bend. Then Brandy says, oh, wait a minute, we will. And Jeff, and so they think they will, but they didn't. They disobeyed that agreement. Whenever Megan was on, they let her be on the entire show. There was some, a podcast they did where they went into a lot of details. They didn't like that. They didn't like some social media content that was going on, some likes of negative comments. Um, you know, I talked about this on Friday where Brandy had admitted, hey, we've got, we've done some wrong. We are on strike two. We almost got fired last weekend. Um, please stop making negative comments on Jeff's, uh, the jail 789 Instagram. So this has been brewing. We knew it. I knew it. I'm listening. So everyone that's shocked are people that weren't listening. And maybe that's what it was. I think you can make mistakes. If the money is there, if the audience is there and it's big enough, sometimes they can take a little more disrespect, right? Clearly with Jeff Lewis Live, you know, he makes a mistake, he gets almost canceled, but they're like, oh my God, you're a moneymaker. So he goes on an apology tour, right? Um, Jeff doesn't sound like they're friends right now. We can see that from the unfollows by Brandy. Julie hasn't really been unfollowed yet, unless I just haven't checked. Um, I definitely think Brandy is the more vocal one in all of this. Uh, Leah Black does know about all of this because Jeff told us. It's a lot. He basically talks about it after the first commercial break on today, August 14th um, show. There won't be an after show all this week. He hopes to revamp it and start again next Monday, August 21st. Tell me what you think. Um, it's a lot to take in, but... I have to agree. I think Jeff did as much as he could for Brandy and Julie, and they blew it.